So, dear students, welcome you again. On the behalf of School of Media and Communication Studies, myself, Dr. Harish Kumar, I'm welcoming you all in this process of learning. So, today we are going to discuss a few things related with different models of communication like SMR, SMCR, and Shannon and viewers model of communication. And these are just like early models of communication, which is going to provide you some basic information about these model. So let us discuss about the objective behind this course and the objective behind this particular lecture today. The course is designed and introduced to provide a glimpse of understanding communication from broader perspectives. In this regard, today's lecture is based on different early models of communication which will provide you an insight about the development of different communication models. Actually, these models provided a base for the development of other models of communication. So learners, let us discuss David Berlou's model in a detailed manner. So I'm just going to show something to you about uh, this particular model. As you are watching right now, we are going to start with source. So SMCR CR model stands for the model which is going to donate you something about source, message, channel and receiver. So as far as source is concerned, you'll find that different elements of source are also mentioned here. Like if the source is having proper communication skill, then there will be more chances of uh, uh, getting some sorts of uh, acceptance from the receiver. Because if your communication skill is proper, then you know how to design a message, how to grab the attention of the audience. Apart from it, you are also familiar with the kind of sign and symbol. So with the help of your presence of mind, many times it happens that you are going to convey the masses in a very proper manner. Apart from it, you'll find that the attitude of the sender or source is very important because you want to understand, you want to know what is the attitude of sender. If you feel that attitude of the sender is proper or uh, emotionally you are able to connect with the sender, then definitely you are going to pay attention on the sender's message. Knowledge. Apart from it, you find that uh, the knowledge component is very important as far as the source is concerned. Because if you feel that I'm not going to get any knowledge from the communication, then you are not going to pay proper attention on any sorts of communication. So that's why the knowledge is one of the important component for the source because if source is unable to create any knowledge base with the help of the communication, then definitely that particular person is going to uh, just deviate from his or her own goal. Social system is also one of the important system because we all are living in a particular social system. And uh, the receivers who also belong to the same social system are easily uh, able to understand the kind of message that I'm going to design. If any person from any other social system comes in between and they just try to understand the masses, so they will not be able to understand the message properly because there are different social elements. There is a particular social structure which used to decide the communication mechanism of a particular person. Culture is also one of the important factor because Culture is also going to influence your masses. If you are able to know different kinds of cultural element, cultural elements, cultural traits, you are aware about different cultural symbol. So definitely you will just try to ensure, you will just try to take the help of different elements, different code and uh, the different code, my code might be used for this purpose. So cultural aspect is also one of the, one of the important thing and you feel that uh, the Communicator is just also just trying to touch your own cultural sentiments. So definitely you are going to pay proper attention on this particular aspect and there would be more chances of getting meaning from that particular kind of communication. So after designing the masses, 
the message is being encoded through a particular kind of message so the process of encoding is very important for you the way you are going to design the way you are going to create a particular message this is one of the most important thing so as far as message is concerned as you are watching right now in message content is very important if the receivers are really getting some content or not or it is worthless you are having some communication in which you are just sharing your own experience or uh, you are just deviating from your subject or uh, there is not any fact in your own content so content is very important and now this uh, we used to say that content is a kind of king for us apart from it uh, you should uh, treat properly different kinds of elements are there whether any element is missing from your masses so you have to decide that the most important element should not be missed from your own communication and each and every element of the message should be treated properly so there should be proper treatment of that one apart from it in communication we should know that we should follow proper structure whether we are following proper structure or not there is proper intro there is a proper uh, information and thereafter we are going to provide gist of that one or summary of that one so we are going to follow the structure or not or we are or we are going to deviate from the subject if we are going to experiment with the structure then many time it happens that it is going to create a kind of problem and as far as the last element of mass is concerned code whether you are going to convey the masses in the form of the same code like language language is one of the example of how we are going to decide about different kinds of code so suppose you are going to convey a particular masses in english and uh, the person belongs or the person is familiar with english language then that particular person will easily understand because both the codes are same sender's code and receiver's code both are same in nature after it as you are watching right now we are moving to another important uh, component and this one is channel as far as channel is concerned through which we are going to uh, perceive the masses we are getting masses and uh, in that particular form in traditional format we were getting masses through our five senses uh we were getting masses after hearing up or listening a particular kind of thing sometimes we believe only when we are able to see the things only then we used to believe that okay this particular thing is happening sometimes you when you are you are going to touch a particular kind of thing then you feel that okay it's hot or it's cold or the kind of thing so you are get, going to get some kind of meaning uh sometimes it happens that through smell you are able to just generate a particular kind of uh, idea about a particular kind of thing uh, good or bad or the kind of thing S testing testing is also one of the thing through which you are able to perceive the thing whether it's good bad bitter or a kind of thing so these these are the you know traditional form uh, through which we were able to perceive the masses now i'm just going to uh, dis discuss about another component receiver as you are watching right now as far as the different elements of source and receiver is concerned both are same what does it mean it means that if the experience of sender and receiver are at the same level or they are having the same exposure then there would be more chances of uh, getting the message in a proper manner as you are watching right now communication skill is also mentioned here attitudes Uh, if attitude of sender is matching with the attitude of the receiver then you'll find that uh, there will be more synergy and there would be more chances of understanding the masses if the knowledge level is also prompt it means there would be kind of interactive kind of uh, uh, you know element will be there and on the basis of it you can decide apart from it you'll find that structure is also important because uh, we all belong to a particular social system and if social system are matching then definitely there would be chances of getting the masses in a prompt manner and the last one is culture culture also used to decide about the effectiveness of the communication so students uh, let us discuss a few things related with criticism of uh, smcr model of communication so basically 
the main drawback with this Perkov model is that there is a lack of feedback. The effects are practically unknown. We are not sure about the kind of uh, effect or impact of the communication. It does not mention the barriers to communication. Uh, there are different kinds of barrier or noise aspect might be there, which is missing in this Perkov model. So there is no room for noise. Uh, and apart from it, you'll find that it is a rather a complex model uh, which is uh, difficult to, to uh, understand because different elements are mentioned here and uh, it's a kind of a linear model of communication uh, which is uh, not having any kind of response system. It requires people to be on the same level for effective communication to happen. However, many times it happens that uh, they are not at the same stage because uh, if any elder person is saying something or opinion leaders are saying something or your boss is going to say something then basically you are bound to follow the kind of thing apart from it uh, the main drawback of this model is uh, that it omits the use of sixth sense on the basis of uh, your own past, own experience or past experience you are able to develop a kind of uh, vision and on the basis of vision or sixth sense you are able to perceive the masses uh, because it is going to increase your thinking level and you are going to understand the things properly you are going to uh, evolve a particular kind of system in which you are able to analyze the different kinds of elements properly so this particular factor is also missing this particular model so dear students now we should discuss about uh, one of the simplest model of communication and this particular model is being called as smr model of communication S stands for sender, M message, R for receiver. So basically, this is one of the oldest communication model that we have. Uh, you'll find that uh, Aristotle and the different uh, renowned scholars gave this program model in which more important or emphasis was given on speaker or sender. So according to this program model, sender is one of the most important person because sender is going to decide the flow of communication sender is having a particular thought sender is having some opinion sender is having a particular kind of experience and in this regard sender is going to communicate a particular kind of message so thereafter you'll find it is going towards receiver receivers are the person for whom we have designed a particular kind of masses. So according to this particular model, you'll find that this, if the speaker is having good communication skill or a speaker is renowned one, then there would be more chances of getting the masses from the receiver. As Aristotle conveyed that uh, the importance of his speech depends on the speaker. So there was a concept of a speaker speech and audience so basically you'll find that as far as this particular model is concerned this particular model is uh, not taking care about uh, the response or feedback system basically this particular model is in lack of uh, the approach because communi in communication world response or feedback is one of the most important thing and after the feedback we are able to understand we are able to evaluate whether we stand as far as communication process is concerned so as far as criticism of smr model is concerned according to this model the process of communication basically starts off with the sender or the source transmitting the sort of masses or meaning to a receiver who gathers the meaning through the masses that was transmitted to him. Actually, there are the stages in this uh, flow of communication where the sender are, uh, get, is, are just designing the masses and uh, after designing the masses, it is being received by the receiver, uh, which includes firstly an encoding stage and secondly, a decoding stage. Uh, in the encoding stage, message is sent or dispatched to the receiver, whereas in the decoding stage, this message is being perceived by the receiver. So as far as in terms of uh, meaning is concerned, 
uh, in the process of encoding and decoding the things basically we are in lack of uh, approach our lack of approach is that we are not taking care about the action action or response is basically missing in this particular approach and later on different renowned scholars just they included the concept of uh, feedback and response so dear students now i'm going to tell you something about cloud shannon's and warren weaver's model of communication so this program model is very important for us because if you are just going to see this particular slide you'll find that in this program model the concept of noise is being introduced here this particular model is also being called as mathematical model of communication so don't be confused that uh, whenever you are getting uh, some information about cloud shannon's and warren weaver's model or mathematical of model of communication so actually both are same basically in this program model what happens that uh, technological barriers were taken into consideration so this particular uh, model was tested on the basis of a telephonic conversation so as you are just watching right now actually the sender is having some information sender is uh, working like a source of the information sender wants to say something and for that purpose sender is going to take the help of any particular uh, uh, device or any particular channel in in the meantime the sender is going to encode the messages accordingly according to the need of the channel so thereafter what happens that after uh, the carrier channel or channels are also being called as a carrier of the information so we will find that if the carrier or channel is not working properly then the flow of the information would not be uh, perceived properly or it would not be uh, just uh, reaching towards designated place so in order to uh, avoid noise we have always to be very careful about uh, different technical problems sometimes it happens that while a telephonic clock call we face a lot of problem because there is no uh, network or uh, there might be a problem of call drops there might be a possibility that uh, earlier what was happening when we were having you know uh, our uh, phone uh, we were just using the phone and sometimes uh, by uh, mistake what was happening that uh, we were just calling to another person or there were some wrong calls also uh, or at the same time there were two persons and uh, two persons were calling uh, so basically these problem exist because of the noise so these are the technological barriers to this and this one is also very important for us because if we are going to reduce the noise level then definitely we are going to improve the effectiveness of the communication so thereafter after transmitting the messages through a channel uh, there is a process of decoding the things and uh, if there is a particular device then the particular device is going to decode the messages and thereafter the process of reception starts and at last it is going towards the receiver or destination so in the meantime you'll find that uh, if there is an, any line loss or if there is any problem with uh, your television set or the kind of thing so definitely you will not be able to access the kind of information that uh, is being provided to you the shannon weaver model was first proposed in the year 1948 and it was mentioned in the particular article a mathematical theory of communication and it was based on the bell system technical journal by cloud shannon and warren weaver it explains the barriers to effective communication very well and this model is special because for the first time noise was introduced in this particular model so dear students today we discussed about uh, the model of uh, smr sender mass receiver we also discuss about uh, david barlow's model of smcr sender message channel receiver we also discuss about cloud shannon's and warren weaver's mathematical model of communication and these models are one of the early model that we have and these models were provided a base for the development of uh, other models and uh, 
these models are very important because uh, you'll find as far as uh, SMCR model is concerned in this particular model emotional aspects were also taken into consideration in cloud channels and Warren Weaver's model of communication for the first time noise was introduced and in SMR model sender was given more importance so dear students after this particular virtual lecture I would like to know your answer basically you are supposed to identify different types of noises uh, which exist today in communication world so dear students if you want more information or you want to read books you can go through all the content uh, which are mentioned in reference section here so thank you very much for watching this video and uh, after this video, I can just say that if still, if you feel that you are having any confusion, you want some more, some more information about any aspect, you are most welcome. And uh, in this regard, I have also mentioned here my mobile number. Apart from it, uh, you can send me a particular email on my email ID. My email ID is harish.kumar at the rate of galbotiasuniversity.edu.in. We'll meet again and uh, we will just try to fulfill our own objective of uh, making this world more educated till then namaskar take care and happy learning